It's time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. Welcome back, everyone. It's time for the council. We have to meet with the other guests in the small living room. Um, we had some uh, Christian riddle or puzzle in the last episode, but we, but I think we managed. So uh, we need to meet with those guys. Um, so we can probably not go up there. You are expected in the small salon, sir. Okay. Question is, I mean, we don't really need to go somewhere. We have been in every room. Yeah, I don't think we have to go into other rooms right now. We got a little bit uh, points back. Because it's a new quest. Let's go. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? About last night, I'm guessing. I sadly no. Even if I'd like to have I alas. There are more pressing matters. I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. Mm. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. Uh, yeah, let's speak about the messages. I think we're close to her already, I think. They kept up a secret correspondence, which makes me think they were suspicious of someone. And did you find out who it was? No, but Von Volner is mentioned. Yeah. They were planning to make a quick getaway and were looking to hide something beforehand. Have you got these messages? Uh, sure. Yes. Go ahead, take a look. She would have shared it with her anyway. I see. I must say, uh, thanks for your honesty, Louis. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Uh, huh. That's a tricky one. But there was someone else in the room. So she could maybe know it from someone else too. So there was another um, person there. I think it was... <coughs> Excuse me. I think it was Holm that was in the room. So she could... And she's close to Holm, I think. So he could tell her about it. So I guess... We can tell her. Emily, there's something else. Go on then. It's it's about your sister. Oh, got another. I got something. Honest. Uh, gain one point in logic. I don't know what happened exactly, but it's possible that my mother had a go at her. I know, Louis. I found out that same thing. Oh, evening. she did. Okay. Well, thanks for not trying to hide it. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know if I could trust you. Now I know I can. It seems that your mother tricked Emma. She apparently asked her to hide an important book so that even she wouldn't know where it was. And then she shot her like a dog to make sure no one would ever find it again. Spoke to her about it. Oh, I hear something in the background. Um, does she know Why would she do that? I don't know, Louis. But I'll find out. You can count on that. I'm sincerely sorry, Emily. Thank you, Louis. You're very kind. It means a lot to me. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. Th there must be an explanation, Emily. That's what we shall see. 
We'll speak about it later, somewhere safe. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back, or it'll cost you dearly. <sighs> calm now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. Uh, I mean, the only one missing, I think, is Godoy, so... And who is this charming character? Manuel Godoy, the Duke of La Alcudia. He's the head of the Spanish government, Monsieur de Richer. He's the one who, in practice, controls Spain. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a farce? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger! I have said it before! How dare they! Oh dear. Oh, as if the gracious. No, the God. Hmm. Oh. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous! Bastard! He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote! Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Oh, uh, calm things down. Think of the consequences. No, conflict. No. Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. Costs nothing. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. But that's enough, sir. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Moras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured. The response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace. Good for you. Here I was preparing to introduce you, as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. Hmm. They're all going. Uh, could you spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. I want to talk to you, too. Of course. I heard about your oh, mother's only disappearance. Chance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? Yeah, let's do... Let's do that. Vulnerability. Let's do that. To hear you speak, you seem to know my mother well. Uh, not really. Uh, we met for the first time on this very spot uh, some weeks back. Uh, we had a very pleasant discussion. Pleasure. She's an exceptionally learned lady with a good head for business. 
No need for me to tell you that. I agree. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? So this is why he's trusted. The cat's out of the bag now. More or less, but please do do refresh my memory. Yes, of course. Uh, huh. Nothing of great importance in itself. During one of our discussions, she spoke of an old book which might have been of interest to me. Oh. And she had agreed to let me have it. A uh -huh. book about what? Ancient occultism. As you are aware, I am a doctor of theology. You might have come <laughs> across some old books in her belongings, perhaps? He looks obsessed, and it's for free, so... The least one can say is that he doesn't beat around the bush. Sarah never travels without a few books. What does the one you're looking for look like, exactly? It resembles a grimoire. It's divided into seven parts, each one individually locked. It was made in such a way that if someone tried to tamper with it, the sheets would be permanently tarnished. It's a unique copy. There's only one. The mere mention of it makes his face okay. light up. Well, I'll faster, take a closer faster, look, faster. but I can't promise you anything. You seem very upset. Damn. Is it so important to you, this book? Well, it's, uh, it's the search of a lifetime. What can I say? Every time I move closer to it, it seems to slip away at the last minute. I was very surprised to learn that your mother had it in her possession. I thought it was with a certain von uh -huh. Borchardt in Paris. Do you know him? Uh, sure, I know him. Indeed, my mother and I had a brush with this individual just a few months ago. What about? About an object stolen from the order a few years ago, which my mother wanted to recover. Ah, uh, this situation comes as a oh, great surprise it. to me. <laughs> I got him now. I hope I've been able to satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Von Volner, and that you succeed in finding what you're looking for. Oh, and so do I. And now, what if you told me who you really are working for, instead of keeping up this pretense? I beg your pardon? We huh. both know what you're looking for, Von Volner. You're the one who Von Birchert was planning to sell it to. For centuries, all those who have come into contact with the Al Azif have bitterly regretted it, Monsieur de Richet. You are playing a dangerous game. Please know that I am working for someone who does not appreciate anyone poking around in his business. Let me guess. No, it's not the King of Prussia. I don't. Not sure it's Mortimer. Maybe Holm? Mortimer Hall. I don't think it's Prussia. He's like running the country. And Mortimer was working with my mother. He would have the opportunity to take the book, probably. Let's say home. It's Sir Gregory. Correct. Oh, cool. You ought to know then. He is not a man who likes to be duped. Hmm. You are walking on thin ice, sir. Do we have to talk? Better go and that. check out the painting in Lord Mortimer's study. Okay, so this is the room where we can still grab that. Oh. Huh. A Greek drachma. One of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned, both in the Bible and in the Quran. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Yeah, but there are like four in there, right? Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of gold collections there. Okay, maybe we can talk with Bonaparte. We know... I think we know everything for Bonaparte and we got something from von Wölner. He is vulnerable to diversion. Okay, Bonaparte is vulnerable to etiquette. Conviction politics, this is in your team. Okay, let's talk to him. Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? What do you think of Duke Godoy? Well, I'd rather not express any opinion of him. Why is that? 
His reputation is enough for me. <laughs> okay, that's zero. Tell me more. Questioning wasn't a problem before. So, and it's for free. Let's take the one. Meaning... This gentleman enjoys people talking about him for too many reasons. His undeserved titles, more than ten in just four years, and each one more prestigious than the one before. You don't think he deserves them? If I had seen him on the battlefield, there might be some doubt. But that is not the case. The Queen would rather not risk losing him, so she consoles him with awards and titles. So you don't have a very positive opinion? Yeah. His coveting French Catalonia does not encourage me to have one. I understand your point of view. Uh, Would no. you have any more information about the conference Lord Mortimer spoke of? Nothing at all. Mortimer is very committed to secrecy when it comes to his conferences. But given the presence of Monsieur Peru and ourselves, I think it must concern France to some extent. Otherwise, I doubt he would have invited three Frenchmen to his table, huh? Well, I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? Uh, wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. Can we go there now? No, we cannot. I think that's the... We haven't seen the garden yet. Yeah, we had that one. That's the book that, that he likes or something. Collect a coin. There's a, a, a quiet uh, sound always when you're getting close to something. And this time it... I got it. <laughs> I heard it. Otherwise. Okay. So we are back at that great hall thing. Probably can go up there now. Yeah, because we have to go to the study. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find Maybe me a few items. More items again. Of course, sir. What would you require? Okay, no. <laughs> so it's the same. Oh, there's uh, Washington. Uh, we could also try and see if there are more stuff here, because it seems we get more and more stuff every time the, the map refreshes. So I don't know how I should call it, but... I may have missed them also the first time, but... Mr. President, what do you think about your counterpart, Duke Manuel? I'm very surprised he was able to accept Lord Mortimer's invitation, given the political situation in Spain. Okay, that's for zero. Uh, yeah. What do you mean? The situation is ready to explode with France over Catalonia. Well, the Duke must have a darn good reason to be absent and come here, mustn't he? When Lord Mortimer invites you, Louis, you come. It's always in your best interest. I wouldn't say that personally, but... <laughs> Mr. President, can you tell me a little more about the coming conference? Of course, Louis. That's why we're here. Lord Mortimer or Sir Gregory regularly organize meetings like this to put forward major projects. What do you mean by major projects? I'd prefer to let Lord Mortimer explain that to you, Louis. 
Let's say he brings together influential people in order to consider possible actions to undertake to guarantee the future of nations. Do you know the theme of the conference? Not in the slightest. None of the guests know the theme before arriving. But you'll see. Everything will turn out fine. Don't worry. Well, thank you for your time. Don't mention it, my young friend. Okay. Nothing really new here. Dining hall. I mean, we'll go to Mortimer's study at last, that's for sure. Um, let's see if I can... gather some new items. I also don't know what the collector coins are for. I haven't used them yet for anything. Uh, oh, I saw that. Oh, a drachma. I heard the chiming sound again, otherwise. No way. So, did we get a trade or something before? Yeah, we got honest. You gain one skill for subterfuges. So it's really best to go into every room. Oh. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Yeah, three rings. Yeah, we know that one. Okay. We could open it, but I'm gonna save my Oh. I think we didn't click on that yet. I think it's yeah, it's white. Seriously. Again. the chirping sound again here. Oh, damn. Really hidden those coins. Oh, there it again. Oh, it's the door. Okay. This time it was the door. Yeah, we can't have the elixir. That's the book we're not allowed to read. I don't think there was anything else, at least before. This is the poetry gallery. I, I mean, we can check if there's something new here, but I think that's Celia. Yeah, yeah. The name means nothing to me. Let's have a quick look in here. Oh, we can unlock that. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Okay, so we found something. That could have maybe been in there before. Oh, maybe we, I wrote it down that it's there. Devil's Thorn. What was Peru Walmart? Well, it doesn't matter, I got it now. So. Uh, I mean, we could look into that room. Oh, we cannot. Okay. 
That means there's no new stuff there. Picture. Holds alone. Portrait, yeah. I've written that one down. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. Well, we saw that already. We still can't go up there. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure we can't go up there because we couldn't up from the other side. Oh, we can! That's a new area. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Oh, we got that key. Oh. So we need another earth key. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. I mean, we could unlock with the skill, but... Yeah, we don't have enough subterfuge for that. Oh, there will thwack. We could use... Oh, two. Ah. Huh. Well. A fragment of amber. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. So I find it interesting that we come into this room from this side. Oh, that room was closed. The locksmith art. That's probably subterfuge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Service stairs. Okay. Maybe we, we will go up there. Ah, oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Oh. Gold elixir. I think we also had Devil Thorn. So, this is what area? Service stairs. So, um, golden elixir. That's the set bell thorn, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, that one should be closed, I think. I mean, that one probably also, yeah. That one should be closed. Yes. Because that's that room here. Okay, let's go up here. See what we... See where we're getting here. Oh, okay. Maybe that, that was always closed before. Okay, we need to go back here. Because we need to go up to... The second floor. Yeah, second floor hallway. Uh, let's see if we can go into... I mean, we have to go around here anyway to check for new new items. I would say. So. Let's see if we can go into the rooms. No, we cannot. Okay. That's the tower room, yeah, with the riddles. Oh, I forgot to check. Ah, I forgot to check uh, the the riddle that that I solved. Uh, why it was that way? If I, yeah, with the uh, psalms and and whatnot. Probably take a while because we are moving around here. Oh, Emily is here. 
Let's talk to Emily. What do you want, Louis? Uh, good boy. What do you think of our last guest? Well, I never thought I would get the chance to meet that Hispanic Casanova in the flesh. His reputation is well known. The gentleman collects lovers, including, would you believe it, the Queen of Spain. Oh. Mentioned a rumor? Uh, sure. The Queen of Spain likes to indiscreetly say, the King, Godoy, and myself make up the Holy Trinity. The people have appropriately renamed them the Goat, the Ruffian, and the Whore. <laughs> I didn't see you being a mudslinger in your idle hours, I must say. Oh, that's it. Damn. Don't walk with the conference. Emily, what can you tell me about the coming conference? Sir Gregory and Lord Mortimer organize this kind of high society meeting every so often in order to consider the world situation. But to what purpose? Well, by bringing together the most influential people from the dominant nations of the modern world, they allow the mighty to discuss matters with calm clarity. There are precedents of armistices being signed at the end of these talks, you know. Talking while holding a glass of brandy makes things easier. You'll see. You're leaving me? Unfortunately, I have things to do. Thank you again, madam. Let's see. Can we go in there? No. So we can't go. I think we can't go into the rooms in this one. Yeah. So the game kind of forces us to maybe speak with the characters that are around, but not to go anywhere. Okay, that one is possible. Maybe we can talk to... Oh, Godoy is close still. So that is our room. It's also closed. Okay. Also closed. I haven't seen uh, the priest. I mean, the cardinal. Probably close to them. Yes. kind of a waste yeah <laughs> so we could go yeah we have to go here anyway to go back to Mortimer's study it should be here yes okay so what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare it has something to do with the picture because that was called nightmare I, I remembered that in the last episode Dante's Purgatory. Yeah, we know that one. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Oh, Charming. that's new. That's new. The Book of the Mortimer family. That's it. <laughs> okay, before we go in there... I thought I saw an icon there, but... Oh, it's just a light. Okay. Let's have a look here. Nothing there. I think the pictures are available now. I think they weren't before. Hmm. Which four-letter word could open this chest? I mean, it's not sink. Because we had that in the room. Maybe we get a... 
and information later on about that one. Okay, so we got everything from here. Let's go in. Okay, the, the pictures are not available. They weren't before. A family ancestor, apparently. Oh, we can talk to the bird. The red berries examine them. Hmm. Might come in handy. What's that? Let's take a closer look. Uh, it costs one. Dark chocolate beans. Very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. Oh, I can still do that. Wow. Touching by the shape, I'd say the Criollo cocoa beans. The chocolate of the Mayas. The rarest of the beans. Some even say they're an aphrodisiac. When a product is in fashion, People attribute all sorts of virtues to it, not to be given to animals. Okay. Accounts for the year 1792. 8,000 pounds food, candles, dress stone. 280,000 pounds master paintings. Okay. Total. Remember to reduce wood consumption next year. Well, he's a spender. Dear Mr. Guido Poletti, I'm writing with regard to the dates of the paintings that I sent you for your temporary exhibition. Please note that they are part of my private collection and are dated according to the Freemasons calendar, AL. In use at the time. As you may well have guessed, you must remember to subtract 4,000 years if you don't want the public to be surprised at the dating of the work. You have to subtract, okay? No need to remind you that the Freemason year AL begins in March, not January. About the Longinus painting, I took the liberty to have the spear touched up so it better corresponds to the actual spear. I cannot urge you strongly enough to do the same for yours. Yours sincerely, Lord William Alexander Mortimer. To have the spear touched up. I mean, Longinus, uh, from what I know, is the Roman soldier that uh, put a spear into Jesus' uh, side or something. Now, now what have we got here? It looks like a model, a model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. The nightmare painted yeah. by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. Hmm. Okay, so we need to... There must be a mechanism somewhere. Yeah. Need to find a button or something. Okay, we found it. Good. Find a mechanism, okay. I don't think this book can help me. That was quick. Uh, oh, wait, something activated here. Okay, that's obvious. Uh, 
Oh, okay. We got a... Aha! I found it. Oh, lock. what on earth is this? A ring lock now? Great. That's all I needed. Find a mechanism. Okay, we know. Find a code. Okay. A minor bird. Meet the bird with the berries. <laughs> Wild. Uh, speak to the bird. Ask him for the code you never know. Tell me the door code. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am talking to a bird. Shame hey, on me. It could have worked. Well, Waldo, is your master good? What's your boy, Waldo? What's your boy? <laughs> I don't really know what I was expecting. Uh, I can speak about Sarah. Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? Repeat that, Waldo. Sarah. What about Sarah? Sarah, no! You stop, Sarah! Stop it! No! Good God, what's been happening here? Oh, we can't. Okay. Uh. All right, that's enough of that. If I go on talking to a minor bird, I'll, I'll end up going crazy. I mean. He told us something. A painting depicting the Third Crusade. It's titled Winter Before the Fall of Saint Jean d'Acre. I guess we could do that with the skill. Oh, we can situate the scene. The Siege of Saint Jean d'Acre. It was a major conflict during the Third Crusade. Richard the Lionheart and Philip Augustus fought to take the town back. It was the Crusaders' first operation to take back the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Okay. I mean, we already saw that one. So, yeah. William Alexander oh, Mortimer the says first, now. in the twelfth month of Anna Lucis, five thousand one hundred ninety. That's a funny date. Uh, wait. It costs me two to analyze. Maybe we do that one for free. Dates calculated in Anna Lucis. Twelfth month is February, so that makes that makes it February one thousand one hundred ninety one. I mean, we got a digit code now, but let's see if we get some more. If we don't get more, or oh, maybe we get the book now. History of the First Crusade ah. by Pierre Amédée de la Salle. Hey, the dates indicate AL, and it looks like 4,000 yeah, years have been one. added to our calendar. Oh, that counting system again. That's for free. The author is Pierre Amédée de la Salle, none other than the Grand Master of the Masonic Lodge of Paris. Now I understand why the dates are offset. He's using dates based on the Analusis, year zero of the Masonic calendar, by adding 4,000 years to the Gregorian calendar. But I thought that that calendar starts in March. I mean, we got a, a number, and there are also numbers there. This painting isn't finished, and it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but we can't exactly say it's been done in the style of the period. It's 
not a painting. Cruder Rose by Paul Rubens. Now we don't have too many things here now, so let's uh, wait a little bit. I don't think there's anything here. Maybe we can grab that one now. Maybe we got more info from the book. Yeah. Let's analyze it. Many families kept documents of their history, but I've never seen anything like this before. Such regularity in writing them up through the generations for such a long time. First time I've ever seen that. Mortimer gives considerable importance to his origins. That's undeniable. Oh, the family tree. First of his name. The first William Alexander Mortimer. He was born in 1131 and distinguished himself during the Third Crusade during which he rubbed shoulders with Richard the Lionheart. He showed outstanding bravery during the siege of saint jean d'Acre. He died in 1211 in the country of Westford at the age of 80. <laughs> what longevity, nice. Nothing is mentioned about his wife. That age? At that time? Yeah. Let's see. All Mortimer's ancestors are called William something Mortimer. That happens a lot in noble families, but here it's systematic. Not a single generation ever breaks the custom. Looks like this family is very attached to their principles. The direct descendant of William Alexander Mortimer I was born in 1195 on his father's return from the crusade. Only son, more discreet than his father, it states that he was widely traveled. He produced only one descendant, named William Michael Mortimer. He died in 1275. There's no chapter dedicated to his mother. Lord William Alexander Mortimer. Oh. Lover of the arts and the sciences. He took up politics at an early age. After rapidly becoming influential, he decides to retire from public life in order to organize conferences reserved for the elite with the aim of finding answers to world problems. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh. He's also an only son, and the book doesn't mention any known descendant. We already did that. Uh, see all right. For one, the women of the lineage are not mentioned at all. What a cavalier attitude. <laughs> right. Let's see. Who else is there? William Birth Mortimer. Only son, a descendant with a singular name. He also took a wife and had only one child, named William again. Another at random. William Mortimer again. Only son, him too. Born in 1573 and died in 1665. The Mortimers live to a ripe old age, that's for sure. Discreet again. The summary states that he was an excellent merchant, and that towards the end of his life, he entered politics? Okay, that's the last point. All the descendants are called William Mortimer. There have been only male descendants. All of them only sons. Strange. It was uncommon to have only one child in those days let alone all only sons. How is that possible? It really makes you wonder if all those sons really are official descendants. Hmm. I'm smelling something shady here. So we need to find the combination. He said something about that. Maybe that's the, the grounding father. 
Now let's read about the Crusades first. We didn't do that before. History of the First Crusades by Pierre Amédée de la Salle. Hey, the dates indicate AL and it looks like 4,000 years have been added to our calendar. Oh, that counting system again. Let's write it down, yeah. For the famous sake. call of Pope Urban II. 20 years after the capture of Jerusalem from the Arabs by the Turks, Urban II convened the council. He promises a plenary indulgence to Christians who go and get Jerusalem back from the Turks. The result, the Jewish community on the road to Jerusalem found itself persecuted for no reason. 12,000 Jews would perish, not to mention the massacre of Ma'ara, where acts of cannibalism by Frankish crusaders were reported, or even the capture of Jerusalem, where approximately 30,000 were left dead. It signaled the beginning of centuries of wars of religion. Or how Louis VII, King of France, eager to be pardoned for the death of thousands of innocent people in the fire of the Church of Vitry, convinces the Pope to authorize him to lead his own crusade. The result, in Germany, a new outburst of violence against the Jewish community, and a monumental fiasco by poor Louis VII, cuckolded by his wife's uncle. The famous call from Pope Gregory VIII in his Odita Tremendi Bull of 5,187. Oh, the crusade where Richard the Lionhearted distinguished himself. It states the first sea blockade of Saint-Jean d'Acre was broken in the 12th month of 5,190 AL, whereas the siege had been going on for two years. So, the only one where he talked about counting back the years was that picture of the first ever Mortimer. And I think it was 1,100 something. William Alexander Mortimer the first, the 12th month of Anna Lucis, 5,190. That's a funny date. Yeah, we analyzed that one. The date's calculated in Anna Lucis. The 12th month is February? So that makes it makes it February 1191. Can we do that funny date quote again? Oh, okay. No, William Alexander Mortimer the first, yeah. the twelfth month of Anna Lucis, five thousand one hundred ninety. That's a funny date. That date in five thousand and something again. Hmm. I wonder what in the world it means. Okay, let's try that one. So normally it would have been 1,190, but counting f more, it's 91. So, uh, 1,191, I think it was. Was it one? I uh, forgot. I think it was 1,100. Let's try it out. Uh, watch the rollers. Notice something. Oh, it's that one. Okay, cool. Open I mean, it was the only one that he was talking about. He never calculated back any of the others. Okay, that's a hidden chamber. Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. Problem is, can we go out? No. <laughs> we cannot. My dearest Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that it 
will soon be impossible to ignore pressure from the Russians. The Tsarina Catherine has every intention of supporting the Count of Provence and will recognize him as the regent of the Kingdom of France once King Louis has disappeared from the political stage. I'm sorry to announce bad news, but expect dark times ahead. Your friend, Elfriede Bauer. Well, that sounds German. It's a map of Asia. A looking map of the Orient, indeed. Okay. Oh. Stop. Sir, your plans to intervene in Belgium are to go ahead as set down. I am to occupy the Prussian army. Your delivery of cannons to Valmy has ensured our victory. As agreed, I have notified the King of Prussia of the invasion plans of Custine and the Army of the North. I will keep the Austrians out of Belgium. I am too quickly I am to quickly return to Paris as I sense the fate of our King Louis about to be decided dishonorably and it is impossible for me not to intervene. Oh. I guess he didn't intervene. Should you have any missives to give to me, I invite you to go by as per usual our friend Monsieur Peru. Sincerely yours, Charles François de Marie, General of the Army of the North. Damn. It's locked. Okay, there's not even an option to to do anything. My dearest Lord Mortimer, as a friend of China, rest assured that you will be rewarded for your information. You need not worry about any scheming against us from Great Britain. Their representative, Mr. McCartney will leave with no hope of any arrangement involving us, your friend, Quen Long, Emperor of the Qing Dynasty. He has his fingers everywhere. Damn! So much there. What's that? Let us see if you have the courage to face me alone. This is my mother's writing. I've picked oh. up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but but where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is his stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. Yeah, well, we'll just take a stone sword with us, just for fun. Oh, we already found something. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay here. A stone sword with moss on it. Maybe that's a clue. But before we go anywhere, uh. Oh, wait. William, whatever your projects, it would seem that our father is against leaving you with a grip on Europe. Russia will soon commit itself to the coalition against your dear France. Don't think you can resist for long. I beseech you, William, do not persist. You are tearing our family apart. Your loving brother, G. He has a brother? P.S. I shall come to your conference, but do you think that holding it at the present moment is conductive? I, I don't know how old this one is, but it seems he has a brother. Okay, I can't do that. So it shows the forces present in Europe. It's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However, a large number has been underlined in bold. 26 million. I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. Mm. Hey, what's that? My dear friend, thank you for your words and I do understand your situation. I regret having to confront you militarily, but if the situation obliges me to declare war, then 
do what you think fit under your advisement and with a very hard I'm off to meet up with the coalition that opposes you in the hope of serving you again George King of Hanover King of the United King of Great Britain Ireland huh there's a lot of information here my dear friend as desired I have been able to gather together my friends to sign the agreement you proposed. This agreement shall be known as the Buttonwood Agreement. If you recall the place where we gathered when you met us for the first time, you will understand why this name was given. Please find and close the list of my colleagues. Leonard Bleeker, 16 Wall Street. Hugh Smith, 209 Coffee House. Armstrong and Barnwell, Broad Street. Samuel March, Andrew D. Barclay. Benjamin Sixers, John Henry, John Bosch, David Reedy. Thanks to your help, we shall soon be able to meet at my place, the Tontaine Coffee House. I look forward to seeing you as soon as possible, Huge Smith. My dear friend, with thanks for your services rendered and help in the fight against the Spanish and the conquest of Oran, a ship bound for Marseille in France has been chargers hidden aboard are a few corpses infected with the plague that is decimating our country at this moment in time be very careful when handling this box because if inadvertently opened you risk spreading the disease all over france mohammed el kabir okay there's definitely something going on it's a map of the americas this shows the forces present in america I'm not so sure with history. Bottenwood Agreement. Coffee House. The gift has been delivered. Timur Shah Durrani, King of Afghanistan, of Punjab, of Sid, of Mashhad, and of Kashmir, should not retain his title much longer. His son, Saman, will succeed him as planned. We will then be able to resume negotiations. K. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Gihom Trimor. Hmm. Shepard. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. And goes on, There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. <laughs> the author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way, is he? So did we get a trade now? Oh, they are... Vidoc... They have found all the clues and explored all the... Okay. Shepard. Okay, they are uh, moving in between. You gain one point in manipulation. Re you read the book about the weakness of human psychology and Lord Mortimer's secret study. Faithful, determined, don't, strikes, okay, got a lot of books here and we haven't found any of those yet. Oh yeah, totally needed. My lord, I hope this letter will reach you. My hours are numbered. My printing house has been confiscated and I am imprisoned in the fortress of Schlisselberg. Uh, if by chance you could intervene in my favor, I would, b would be eternally in your debt. The Serena Catherine should not be long in banning all golden order lodges from her territory. Our horizon has become considerably darker in the hope that you can help me, your friend Nikolai Novikov. Dear Lord Mortimer, I am writing to ask you to persuade President Washington not to sign the Fugitive Slave Act as it stands. We must absolutely legislate on a national level and not allow every state to choose the policy regarding slaves. 
It was initially intended to resolve a conflict between Pennsylvania and Virginia. By signing it, we risk legislating the hunting of blacks. More and more men of little faith are becoming slave hunters and unable to find any slaves on the run. They kidnap the first black they come across, which they pass off as the wanted runaway. The situation threatens to quickly degenerate. Thank you in advance, your friend John Adams. P.S. Say hello to my daughter Elizabeth for me. Well, she's dead now. Didn't we do that already? Moreover, it shows a fair number of sea voyages no. being organized towards the American continent. No doubt with slaves. How many men are broken in this trade? Tens of thousands each year, according to what people say. It shows the forces present in Africa. This is unexpected activity in this sector. It looks like there are also many unknowns, even for Mortimer. So this part of the room is done, uh, there's still another one, I haven't missed anything here, did we check that one? Weakness of the Human yeah. Psyche yeah, yeah, we did. We did. by Giham Trimor, hmm, he says, it is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition it's running, until right? the mind gives in. Yeah. Okay, stop. My dearest friend, our plans are going ahead wonderfully well. The Coinage Act has been voted. Your project of funding the very first Bank of America should not be delayed and will probably be called Union Bank. As for the construction of the White House, it is it is still die to begin in October. I will accept no delays. You can trust me on this. I hope to see you soon. Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of State. Ah. What's that? A table of alchemical elements. So, Lord Mortimer also studies alchemy? It seems like he's interested in everything. That's really good. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Okay, we don't have that one, so we have to write it down. Firebox. Uh, Mortimer. Mortimer secret. Who's left key or is right? Okay, we don't have a key yet. I mean, in worst case, we can just use the uh, the thing to uh, do the level seven. Oh, never mind. A but I think we still need another one. Representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Okay, that's the left key. Okay. We maybe need another one for that fire thing. Is there something in here? What's that? Dear Lord Mortimer, be assured of my entire devotion. As agreed, the uh, Rondi peasantry will soon rise up. My network is striving to increase the pressure on the masses. Oh, that's probably the revolution, France. The decision for the, of the assembly, which consists of voting the civil constitution of the clergy, is in blaming the region. The people overwhelmingly reject the priests and swear loyalty to the state. If you could ensure that the convention will administer the final blow to the people, the issue will be resolved. Without wishing to direct you, a forced recruitment or for a faraway conflict would be a perfect way to arouse the people definitely your devoted servant Francois Antonas Charette de la Country. Maybe it's that's the one that um uh what's his name? Uh Piace was talking about what in the silk dada. He's immune to science, he's probably immune to mostly everything, I guess. Carmelite water, that's the one for opening stuff, yeah. Or deciding, or ignoring the, the skill points. What's that? An iron mask. I wonder who it's for. Haha, <laughs> for France, right? For the king. To bring his double on the throne. 
Hmm. That must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. Dear friend, who is the most admirable of all the Olympians? None other than the king of the gods, of course. Unlike his father Kronos, he learned to make equal use of his strength and wisdom. Instead of fearing the power of his children and brothers, he accepted to share the world with them. Man fears his son and praises just as he reigns. He's, he reigns, but doesn't dominate. Wait. I've got an idea. There is a box with letters, and Zeus is a is a name with four letters. That could... I mean, I'll try it. But. It's the only hint that I got with, like, four... Four, uh letters and it's not mentioned the name so dear lord mortimer as agreed i have changed your old lock for one of my invention drawing inspiration from your doctor friend mr guillotine here is a model of your new lock if you appreciate my prototype it is difficult to imagine how it all fits together, but it will be located in the middle of the present door. The aim being to alter nothing of the door's functionality, but add a piece of spice. Depending on the lineup of the wheels, the aforementioned lock will open, or will punish the snooper whose faith is not strong enough. I called my invention the Judgment of Faith, because if a snooper is unable to resist opening it, they will be punished. I hope you will appreciate the irony of the situation. Gustave Montrand, Master Architect. Oh, wait. That's a skeleton by the name of Gustave. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by, Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. That's morbid. Oh, the right hand is missing. Yeah, that too. Huh. These are feathers. Pigeon, probably. Anything here? No. What's that? Examine the inscriptions. We can do that for free. Uh, let's examine the material and then we'll examine the inscription. Looks like obsidian or... Onyx. He must weigh a ton. Okay, examine the description. Strange. I don't recognize the alphabet. I wonder where the pictograms are from. It isn't Egyptian or Hebrew. There are two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. No way to know what's underneath. Absolutely no idea what it's for, but I find this cue fascinating. Huh. Oh, okay, we can't do anything with that. Interesting. Still have to check the table. There's so much in here. Something strange about this table. The little surgeon's perfect collection. Okay, we got something here, so we might do a level one. What kind of experiments does Mortimer carry out here? It's a dissection table. So Mortimer does autopsies here on his desert island. But who is he doing autopsies on then? Okay, that's that was everything. Oh. He's immune to science. Okay. Well. Let's start. The Humani Corporis Fabrica. It's probably a science one if he's immune to science. Seminal book, absolute reference on human anatomy. What's that? Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. Ah. Curioso and curioso. So we still got that table here. Oh, and that table. Didn't check out that table. Am I seeing things, or is that an actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. 
Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we did know that, right? Science. I think it was something else, too. Huh. I thought we found more than one. I guess not. Oh. Yeah, that's the mask. Okay. Yeah, what's that? Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Okay. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. And I'm a little surprised that Mortimer. And it seemed as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, mm -hmm. and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has oh, he been methodical. reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. Okay, that's fun. That's for free, so. It is a typical draw in a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance. That announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, the chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right, the emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. Okay. So we got a trade or talent. Methodical. You thoroughly searched Lord Mortimer's study. Okay. Lord Mortimer, the tiger is dying. On your demand, I have attacked Travancore and personally cut the throats of as many Englishmen as possible. Though without help from the French, I cannot hold them off much longer. My forces are rapidly diminishing in spite of your new rockets. Help us. Tipu Sahib, Sultan of Mysore. I think we got everything. I hope. There's so much here. Question is, how do we get out? That's the question. Oh, I think. Yeah, we, we got that one. Uh, there's a. Okay, that's just an. Okay. I thought it would be like a honey or something. Okay, can we go out here? Oh. Okay. Oh shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? Uh well we know that it opens with one one nine one, so I guess it's the opposite. Uh we have to find out what the opposite of, of, of one is. So that is one. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's five. That should be the around there. So that should be the. Oh, yeah, one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's the one. Uh, so that's a six. Uh, and we one one a nine. So nine would be one more. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And the other one is also a one. So that should be a six again. I haven't seen any other, any other numbers here. So. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Yeah. I mean, I think it should be the same, right? If it's the same lock. Ha! It's kind of logical if you think well, of it. But... I better not dwell on it then. So let's. Must of escape. 
You got out of Mortimer's secret study by yourself. Well, how should I go out otherwise? Maybe if it takes you too long, uh, someone is coming or Mortimer is coming. So let's try Zeus. Not sure if it hmm, works, but which four letter word could open this chest. Maybe it does. So we got a set, that's good. We got an E. We got a U. We got a S. <laughs> nice. Handwritten notes. Handwritten notes. Oh, cool. I like, I like that. So we got handwritten notes. Oh, I think we got one here and one here. Or both of them. Maybe both of them were here. It doesn't matter. It's, it's those here. We got two notes for those. Well, that worked out. Ha! I love it when a plan comes together. So, find out the origin of the sword. Now that will be an interesting one. Too. Oh, okay. We will end this episode here then. Let's see if we failed anything. We couldn't enter P Peru's. Uh, maybe it was somewhere else. Anyway. I met Manuel Godoy, I got some information out of from Velna, I found the nightmare that my mother mentioned, I got to know Valdo. Oh yeah, that's the, the bird. I found a way of getting into the secret study, I got out of Mortimer's secret study without any trouble. I could have met Peru under strange circumstances. Oh, maybe Peru would have been the one that releases us. That could be, because it's an alternate path, so something that I did would have happened if yeah that could be because it says uh i got out without any trouble so maybe peru would have been snooping around too anyway i don't think we can level to level nine can we maybe oh that's close okay we got lots of objectives and this is where we end. Uh, I will do the uh, the talents though. So we got four points, and we can use three manuscripts. We have to remember that we can use three. So we could do two in logic because we have a logic one here. We also got sub. No, we got subterfuge. It costs us everything. But. Well, nearly everything. Uh, we could do the other one in vigilance because we still don't have anything for vigilance. So that would be also level 2 then. So the logic one is not that important. That one is also leveled and it needs 12 points. And we know that level 10, we don't get one for level 15. So I guess it's like level 10 and maybe a little bit more. I mean, but we are still in, in episode two of the of the game so there's a chance that it goes further than 15 or something in the level it's just not an um, achievement science so we got we've also got questioning but i don't think oh we leveled up questioning So we need that one for sure. The other ones are not really the I don't I don't think we have conviction there. 
No, we also don't have conviction. We got two erudition though. Could probably do I mean we do subterfuges anyway, and we will do one science. If we have one. Yeah, we have one science here. So those are blocked. So we can't do one more. Maybe diversion or manipulation. Diversion, we have nothing. We could also do logic. Like we mentioned at the start. Because it's easier to level that one up. Okay, let's do science. We will do subterfuges too. And logic. And we will do that at the start of the next episode. So, um... We put in the points, so we are ready for the next one, for the next quest, and we'll put in the the manuscripts once that started, uh, once that starts. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed this one because there were some uh, puzzles there, and and I found the solution for it, and that was really cool. So uh, I hope to see you again in the next episode. Uh, till then, have fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my content, like always. And bye-bye.